guys, Saturday morning, and as I was saying, we're just knocking off a few videos. That'll be a manual hood on this one, Jack. Obviously, we've just done the Saab, we've just done the Mercedes, and uh, Jack's just gonna... There's not a lot to go wrong, is there? In fact, there's nothing to go wrong with a manual hood, is there, really? On the little MGs. Again, good value for money, little car. Entry level, this one, guys. Oh, door handle doesn't work on the outside, Jack. See if it works on the inside. Yep, it does. There you go. Fire it up for us, Jacko, and then we might as well. Oh, I'll tell you what to do first. Get the key and just open the. Uh, it's not the. Well, it is the boot, but it's not the boot. Obviously, your engine's in the back on these, and then you have to open the boot from the front. Oh, sorry, from the lever there. Pull that. Brilliant. Fire her up, Jacko. Let's hear her. Oh, that was quite clean in the expansion tank there, guys. Will Brace and Jack in there. Spare wheel in the front there. Thank you, mate. You can pop that down again now. Jack's just going to do a series of photographs for you. But entry level little car, guys. I haven't seen the paperwork, but I'm sure it will be priced accordingly. Now these vary, vary from, I was gonna go as low as 500, but they certainly vary from a few hundred to a good few thousand. Now we've got some in the other shed that are gonna be a few thousand pounds because they're low mileage, low owners and all the rest of it. Um, I can't remember this one coming up on the screen, but I'm sure I've said yes because it must be very sensibly priced. But come down, have a look, do your checks, make sure you're happy but do remember they do vary from a few hundred to a few thousand i can get nine thousand ten thousand pound for a star car so just keep that in perspective won't you but come down like i say have a look make sure it's going to do whatever you want it to do and go from there